All right, we are back, 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 back in Daddy's kitchen. Hello, Father. Hi. How are you today? Great, Great. wonderful. Blessed. Thank God. Thank God. For Here. this day. Mm -hmm. Awesome God. Awesome, awesome God. awesome God. I agree. I agree. Thank you, Father. It's been, you know, it's been a trying year last year for a lot of people. Yes. You know, for us too, a little bit. And, um, you know, this year is starting off and we're hoping that better is on the way. Yes. But you can't help but admit everybody feels like a cloud is over their shoulders in a kind of way or a little bit over their head. So we're just happy that we can be here to kind of cheer everyone up and cheer ourselves up too. Not true, Daddy? Oh, yes. Especially yeah. during this pandemic. Yeah. So many of us are still locked down. Some of us are going into more lockdown. So we have to make some comfort food today. Not true, Daddy? Yeah. All right. So, Daddy, without further ado, tell the people then where we are cooked today. Meat lasagna. Ground beef meat lasagna. You guys have been asking for lasagna for the longest time because Daddy actually did do the lasagna on my, uh, not on my channel, sorry, but on my Instagram in the very early stages of this whole Daddy's Kitchen phenomenon. And um, so it's there on my Instagram, but the whole YouTube family was like, no, 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 we need our own. So Daddy is like, we have to give our family exactly what they want. So we are here today with your lasagna. Our family is known for a darn good lasagna. So Daddy, let's get straight into it. Okay, all my ingredients are here. Okay, all right, so these are all the ingredients that are gonna be used today. Yes. All right. This is ground beef. All right. Uh, this three pounds. Lot of olipa beef that. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese. You need to have ricotta in your lasagna. I don't care. I agree. This is for my wife. Brown rice, pasta, gluten free. Yes. And these are regular. Regular lasagna. Yeah. I thought I bought more than than those. That's all we're using? I brought two new packages. Yes, yes. The more is there. Okay. The more is there. All right, all right. We'll okay. see. We'll see what's going on. And the spices, mm -hmm. meat seasoning. Meat seasoning from Cool Runnings. Herbs and sp spice and herbs. Spice and herbs. All purpose. All purpose. Some flavor rice. rice. Onion powder. Onion powder. Black pepper. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. And these are the tomato sauce. And some sauce. tomato sauces. Shout out to my assistant, Michael, and his family, and his beautiful mother, who actually made these tomato sauces. She's such an amazing cook, such an amazing chef. And uh, we can't wait to use her tomato sauce. All right. Spinach. And spinach. And people, wash your spinach. Wash your spinach in thoroughly. Salt water. In salt water, Daddy? In salt water. Why Cold salt water? Salt water. Because if the insect is on it, salt water kill it. Okay. You have to wash it properly. Okay. And drain it. These Call are already it washed and drained. Mm -hmm. okay. And pre prepared. Yeah. All right. And over here, this is going to go into the ground beef. Okay, so what do we cook, have here? Chopped onions. That's I'm using the red onions. Okay. Yellow pepper. Yellow that's, pepper. I only have yellow pepper, so that I just use that. Okay. And chopped garlic. Okay, and chopped garlic. Mushroom. Mushrooms. These mushrooms, they are still white, clean. I wash them. I wash them in vinegar water. You can wash them in vinegar water to keep them white. If you just wash them in water and put them down, they're gonna turn black. Okay. So, so you can wash them in vinegar the water. Color. Yeah. Okay. Wash them in vinegar water or lemon water. Okay. And keep keep the color. Alright. Okay. See? And this is my grated cheese. We buy the cheese and we grill it. It's mozzarella and cheddar mixed together. Mm-hmm. Okay. For the cheese lovers. Yeah. Okay. So, All right, let's so get started. let's get started, Daddy. Turn your pot on. Daddy, you're so cute. 
Look at you. It's my father who make me know. <laughs> <laughs> my heavenly father. Yes, He's man. the creator. Creator's me know, all. Me know, me know, me know. All yes. right, so this is where we start. So what yeah. do we have the heat on right now? We are maximum. Maximum. Okay, so you get your pot out. Yeah, put I'm it gonna, on max. I'm going to get my oil. Okay. What oil are you using? Corn oil. Corn oil. I'm going to just, just base the pot, bottom of the pot. Not too much. Not too much. So you're going to get some oil from the beef. From the beef. Yeah, so the fat. You mean from the beef is gonna kind of act as an oil, right? But first, you have to saute it off. Uh, uh, onion and peppers and garlic. Okay. And then you'll add your ground beef to it. All right, let's do it. Okay. When you get a little hot. Okay, so wait until it get hot. Get a spoon. All right, go get your spoon, daddy. I can't use any. And then you put that What's up? You know? When you get pretty new pots, you guys, when's the last time you guys saw our pretty old Dutch pot? You see all them Dutch way? See all them Dutch way with good, good uh, Dutch pots? And now you can't even use a regular <laughs> spoon inside the pot. You have to be dainty with this one. Oh, yeah, you can't even find what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> wooden spoon? Your wooden spoon, your favorite you wooden scratch. spoon. Inside. Yeah, you don't want to scratch this pot. I get okay. it. Now I'm gonna put my garlic first. Yes, sir. So garlic first, you guys. Don't burn your garlic. Turn down your heat. Turn down the medium. Heat. Okay. So Daddy just turned down the heat to medium, guys. Okay. So once you see the garlic starting change color to brown you know it's good okay see okay mm -hmm. starting to get brown so i put in all of these now okay. So daddy, if you weren't using just the yellow peppers, um, um red, green, red, green, yellow, all of them. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't really matter, right? Eh? No, it doesn't. So we only had yellow peppers, guys, but you can use all different types of bell peppers if you want. I'm gonna put some seasoning in it. It's the aromas for me. All right, so right now what you putting in? A teaspoon of meat seasoning, okay, from Cool Runnings brand. Shout out to Cool Runnings in the building. I'm gonna put more seasoning on the meat when it goes in too. Okay, so yeah, so you gotta chill on the seasoning. Control. Okay. Take your time with it because you're gonna be seasoning the meat, guys. Like Daddy said, take your time, take your time, take your time. Half teaspoon each. Everything. Half teaspoon of everything. If I can get half teaspoon of everything. If you can get, because <laughs> since the last video, we've been savoring that um that seasoning salt, and you guys can tell how much we don't use too much salt because we still this have this little purpose. drop. This oh, purpose. it's all purpose. My bad. My bad, guys. We we'll talk too soon. <laughs> seasoning salt's not even in the building today. I suggest you guys use some seasoning salt. Our family is, you know, you already know the deal. And if you're new here, hello. <laughs> if you're new here and this is the first time that you're watching, um, all of the seasonings that we use in our house are sodium free, uh, but you can always get the ones that have the sodium in them. And we're really, really uh, salt conscious, sodium conscious. So we don't really be adding all of that look at all the seasonings going in so half a teaspoon of all of these guys that was black pepper that went in this is garlic powder i don't need much because i have fresh garlic in it yeah just a little bit just a little bit Daddy, I've been smelling it from the moment you said put the oil in. Oh my god. 
<laughs> God, you are good. You're awesome, God. Yeah, man. You create all these things for a purpose. Yeah, for a purpose. To know it, how to use it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Now, I'm going to drop my ground beef in. Okay. Because these become soft and nice. Uh -huh. We don't need to. That's interesting, Daddy. I thought you would season this before putting it in the pot. No, it's okay. No. I'm gonna drop it in the pot, stir it in, and then put my seasoning. Okay. Yeah. If, interesting. I, was, if I was doing something else, like making meatballs and those things, I season it right here. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Burger. And those things. So those things that are like compact, you would yes. season it yeah. first, yes. and then okay. Make it. Mm -hmm. So this I can make it right in the pot, right, right just like that. Mm. And just add my seasoning to it. Interesting. Learn a thing or two, you know, and I, that actually would save me a lot of trouble because. So what I do? Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. No, go ahead. We'll start it in. So everything gonna start. I'm gonna bring up back the fire to maximum. Back to max to high. Because yeah. remember, I just turned it down for the garlic yeah. before, but and I'm dropping cold meat in the pot right now, so, so it cut the heat, cut the temperature. Mm -hmm. So you want more temperature? You just bring it back up. Bring it back up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna put more flavors in it. All right. Let's talk about those flavors. Okay. You want your food to taste good. Half tablespoon Half right now. Half tablespoon now. All right. So the meat seasoning went in. I would just say put the rest of that uh, in. There's nothing in this. I just seasoning bam. salt. No, not seasoning salt. That's all and purpose. Purpose. All purpose. All purpose. Okay. Garlic. Not too much, but I know it's good for you. Mm-hmm. Spice and herbs. Spice and herbs. Half tablespoon too? Yeah, each. Everything yeah. here. I just love seeing the seasoning going on because I just know the flavors. Oh, your guys' favorite flavor rice is now, going I'm, in. This one, I'm putting a spoonful. A spoonful, because it's your favorite. Look at that, you guys. Onion powder. Onion powder. Half. Uh, a spoon. Color love onion. Black pepper. Black papier. No, that's <laughs> paper. <laughs> I should just not with the French. Ah. Put the season if your food don't look so, you guys. I don't know what you're doing. Stir it in. Stir it in. Okay, you gotta make this meat the coat. And then you have your tomatoes. Okay. Sucks. Alright. You know what I'm gonna put it in? I have some herbs, natural herbs. Natural herbs? What? Then he said I have natural herbs to add. Parsley flakes. Parsley flakes. Basil. Basil. Basil, basil. Some oregano and oregano. In oh, only turn it to Italian in here. Wow. Yes. Okay. These things are good for lasagna, yes. pasta. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Spoonful. A spoonful. What do we just add? What's that? Oregano. Oregano. Okay. Oregano. Okay. So I forgot. No, with the accents. Basil. No, <laughs> Daddy, don't Basil. follow me. Basil. Yes. A little bit of 
parsley. And a little parsley. You guys, don't don't watch our makeshift um cupboard. Our cupboard door doesn't Break like us. Up. <laughs> but that's just the real, okay? Don't act like you don't know. Try it when you start this. Try get break down these lumps. Mm -hmm. Break it down. You don't want a big lumpy lasagna. Break them down. Break down the beef. Then I start it. Okay. Do this, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. There you go. <laughs> Look at the excitement. <laughs> ah, little people. Look at that, you guys. Within moments, minutes. I don't think it was a full ten minutes. No. No. Probably what, like six minutes. Yeah. All right, you guys. Point proven. A little bit of steam. So. It would probably be harder for them to get such a fast result if they if they didn't have a pot with a cover, correct? Yeah, you, you know, cook slower okay. because you cover it, you go to the trap to eat, and you cook faster. All right, you guys, you heard that right here. Use the pot with the cover because I will learn the hard way many times. Okay, so I'm trying to break down all these lumps inside here because Sometimes when you break down the lumps, it's still red inside. Mm -hmm. You want to know how they cook right too. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. No raw mm -hmm. No raw meat. Mm -mm. Smells amazing, you guys. Can you guys yeah, smell it awesome. through the camera? Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna have my tomatoes. Okay. Tomato sauce. All right. Let's add the tomato sauces. You hear that, people? When this thing is hard to open, that's not the bottom. You hear that? Mm-hmm. You hear that? Look at that. What brand is that? Victoria. White, let's see. Victoria White Linen Collection Gourmet Pasta Sauce. Okay, all right. It's the first time I'm seeing this one. And then we are using homemade tomato sauce. Add it. Ooh. Out it comes. Nice. No process. Ooh. Smells good, eh, Daddy? Natural, 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 natural. Yes. Next one. Get the next one. All right. And into the pot it goes. Mm-hmm. Look at that, guys. Daddy wants all that sauce. Oh, <laughs> it looks delicious. Okay, then it's starting. Stir, stir, stir. Guys, tell us in the comments if you already made your a lasagna before. Tell us if this is your first time that you're ever watching. Uh, lasagna tutorial or also let us know if you're gonna be trying this version tell us in the comments we'd love to know we want to see all those tags on Instagram we're gonna be much more active in the stories on Instagram because you guys have been making some meals and tagging we gotta show some more love so make sure you follow on Instagram daddy's kitchen so that we can showcase your beautiful meals yeah. But look at that. Look at that meat sauce, guys. Look at that meat sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Do you want some? Yes. 
Do they you want some? some? <laughs> Do you want some? Yes. Come and get it. I'm ready for my slice already. I don't know if I can wait. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. <laughs> no matter what, you got to wait. That's the hardest part. Until this baby is cooked the right way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Waiting. That's the hardest part. All right, so right before we move on to the next step, I caught daddy adding some goodness. Caribbean spice. Caribbean spices and roasted cool garlic. Cool runnings, okay? Decided to add that to the mixture, so if you guys wanna get your hands on that, I suggest you do. All right, okay. so. Um, over here. Over here. And when it's packed, I'm gonna start in my mushroom. Okay, so. With some butter. All right. Gotta put butter in the pan. Uh oh. Pan too hot. Not sure that is. Okay, take it off. Yeah, cause we took it off. Is that your mushroom? Kitchen pie. Add the next one. Chelsea, you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mushroom in the pot. Yeah. And we're just gonna put some. Of the same thing. Caribbean spice and the roasted garlic. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. It has everything pretty much. If you guys are looking for something that has like a mixture of a bunch of things, this is probably a really good one to have because it has a bunch of the things that we use individually in the pot. Right, Daddy? Yeah. All right. All right. So we have roasted garlic, have roasted pepper. So it's good to go. I turn my fire down. Medium. To medium instead of high. Yeah. You don't want to burn your mushroom. And I'm just going to start to leave. To put my... To put my lasagna. Mm -hmm. You got to saute them guys. Saute, saute. Look at it like... Springing its own water. Right? Yes. So that's what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. They start off so dry and then suddenly. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is good enough. That's all? That's all. I don't even think it was on for a minute. Yeah, man, it's mushroom is easy to cook. Okay, and then it's gonna so, cook more when it's yes, inside. Yeah, lay it and put it in the lasagna, it's gonna cook again. Okay. So I'm giving this a stir again. Stir up your meats, and your meat's still on medium, right? Yes. And I'm gonna taste it. Okay, for the moment of truth. Well, the pre moment of truth, that is. The real moment of truth is when we cut that lasagna. But let's do the preliminaries. Yes, nice, right. eh? Yes. Make it cook a little bit more. Can pour a little like a tip of wine in one of them, yeah. Whenever I see mushrooms, I always for some reason think of you pouring like a little bit of white wine inside there. I don't know, to bring out the flavors. Yeah, you can put some red wine in this. In this. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I knew it. I knew it. Because I am a chef to be. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, you're a chef. When does you make a pot? Oh, daddy, don't be throwing disses. <laughs> You go and see. I know you guys have been asking, but you know what? We got to go on. I got to make sure that I feel comfortable, okay? You know, I'm going to want to bundle in the kitchen on camera. Oh, come on. <laughs> A little bit of red wine added. And you guys can use your own choice of red wine, right? Yes. Ours is a little sweet, so... Not everybody's into the sweet, but we're using Morgan David as Daddy always does, as Jamaicans always do. Um, but you can use whatever type of red you want, right? Yes. Mm hmm. So 
So let this simmer for a little and then I turn it off. What's a little? Five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to simmer for about a little five minutes and we will be back. You better right back. <laughs> All right, daddy. So walk on now. This is ready. All right. So we are ready with the meats. It's simmered for the time that it needs to simmer for. And then what are we doing now? We're gonna bring it over there. Okay, look upon the setup, you guys. This is our lasagna pan. Our lasagna. Okay. So I'm gonna move the pot close by. Right here. Okay. We can get a scoop like a spoon. All of this, you guys, get your setup together with your spinach, your cheese, your pan, your lasagna, your mushrooms. Okay. All right. Now. Now. You gotta get some of your meat sauce. Okay. And you're gonna lay the pan. It's very thin. You don't want too much at the bottom. Okay. Just, just coat the bottom with it. Okay. Just like that. Daddy, you should put something un under the, the thing because look how this is slipping and sliding already. No, this is just a pan, not the board. It's okay. All right. All right, ma'am. So see, I coat it. Just lightly, though. Yes, yeah, slightly. Okay. Not too much. Okay. And then you're gonna use your, your pasta. Over here. And we're using the oven ready, guys. So I don't know, like, you know, some people would be like, oh no, real Italian. We're not real Italians. So <laughs> we use an oven ready. Okay. I'm, I'm a black Italian Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you're using the oven ready one. I'm then. Canadian. I'm Canadian. <laughs> okay. Um, and honestly, it it's honestly amazing. Like it's amazing. I it's personally much don't. Easier. It's right. very easy. I think it's so much easier. And to cook the raw one, take it out. I mean, it's beautiful you if you sometime. if you do and and you want to make your pasta from scratch and cook it and you can do that. But I'm yeah. telling you, I am promising you, my belly and my mind are telling you, this is fire. It's gonna taste phenomenal. Yeah, so you just lay, the, lay those. I have seven pieces here. Okay, Depending or you do it according of, to yeah, your... The size of your pot. Okay. Your pan. Okay. All right. Okay, let me leave it there. Okay. Then I'm going to put more. The big one now. Heavier. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Remember, you have to save some for mommy's lasagna, daddy. No, no, oh. Make sure your hand not get too heavy. Okay. Mm hmm. So your yeah, hand heavy, man. Your hand heavy. No, man. You're gonna spread it out. Okay. The man do him thing now. Let the man do him thing now. As you can hear, <laughs> my father's son has stepped into the uh, kitchen. <laughs> My brother Mark is here, guys. So if you hear him in the back, you know who it is. Yes, sir, Ski. I mean, that is a heavy layer in my opinion, but no, I'm going to just no, let the no. man, like Mark said, let the man do anything. Uh, my, my belly thinks it's just fine. Okay, of course. Of course. I'm just looking out for mommy's lasagna. Yeah, there's a lot in here. There's a lot. Mm hmm Okay. I will be the judge of that at the end. Some Look cheese. At that, guys. A nice thick layer he just put on. Put some cheese. Like that. Can I give it a sprinkle? Yeah, man. Wash your hands. Oh, your my hand. I just, I just, I just beat it. You just beat You need to wash it on again. It's not my turn. The way that he said, irks, irks. Flip it and reverse it. Flip it and reverse it. 
See that? Mm -hmm. Lay my cheese. Okay, I'll well, do it later. Well, there's another layer, so you're more than welcome to do the next one. Now I'm gonna put some mushroom. Okay. Not too much. I don't have a lot, so I just spread them on. Sprinkle them on there. The mummy. Because the I have to get some. Delia would appreciate our lack of mushrooms. Is she doing too much? <laughs> like this guy and his jokes. Like you need to go to um, yuck yucks. Or just okay. for laughs or something. And then my spinach. Okay. Guys, see, it's not as hard. And there's so many people who are like, oh, like my lasagna never comes out. I'm like, I wonder why. Because I feel like, like, you know, if you follow the steps, you will get a splendid lasagna. And then. I like a ricotta. Cheese. Then ricotta. And I feel like ricotta cheese is what really, really, really makes a lasagna. I feel like if there's no ricotta inside your lasagna, I don't even know if I trust you. Ricotta is mandatory. Mandatory. Unless, obviously, you're a vegetarian and all that good stuff or vegan and you have to find another way. All that um, stuff but, doesn't matter. Oh my I'm God. Just kidding. Do I'm just kidding. Dummy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. You guys are <laughs> First of all Let me just let you guys know All of us matter, okay Whether we're vegan, meatitarian fact, fact. Vegetarian just Mark's just a jokester So you'll learn Okay, now I lay my My second Layer of Pasta okay. Okay. Sing song. Oh, my lasagna. Okay. <laughs> what an idiot. Hey, <laughs> and then me. <meat. laughs> mm -hmm. It's coming along. It's coming all the way along. You're the bottom of that pot a lot more, daddy. Click it. <laughs> <laughs> Click it, <-ity> clank. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Is this not love? Come on. Come on. Always love. Always. Always love. No hate. No heat. None of it. You could keep that. Cause only love on this side. Wow, Daddy. Whew. So is the oven preheating right now? Yes. So what's the oh Mark, you just made a cameo. Um <laughs> slightly for three seconds. Um Daddy, what is the oven on right now? 375. 375. Yeah. Okay, so make sure that your oven is preheated. There you go. Okay. All First right. of all, your hand just looks buff on doing that. Really? <laughs> yeah, it just looks not just just irregular. Just <laughs> so, practice. Yeah, once practice makes perfect. I mean, I'm, getting I'm really. There. I'm getting there. More cheese. More cheese. We're doing another layer, right? Mm -hmm. But we have to be light with the cheese because we have a top layer and mummies to do. But hers is low fat anyways. <laughs> She's probably like, the stuff that doesn't matter. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh, She's probably cutting her after us right now. Spinach. Another layer of spinach. You guys already know the deal. We definitely didn't have to show you the second round of it, but we're showing you because you're family and you guys already know what it is here. And if you don't know what it is, it's probably because you're new 
And you're probably like, well, why couldn't this be a six minute video? Because we don't do things the way that everybody else does. This is a family channel. You so get to be cheese? here. Right, daddy? Yeah. You get to be here throughout the process. All right, so more ricotta cheese. You just repeat the same layers, right? The only thing I didn't have again is the mushroom because I don't have enough. Okay. I leave that dress for mommy. So note to, note to self and note to you guys, get more mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. I feel like you need a little bit right here, daddy. Yeah. Right in this spot here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat it up. Fat it up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You hear them people? <laughs> them people fat it up. Fat it up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One more layer. One more layer. I'm gonna be busting out the frame. That's how we like it. Bust it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, look in the storage. Right away. Let me see more. Make sure you take the right one, please. We ran out, guys. We're out. So we're getting another pack. That's a nice one. Hurry it on up, Mark. Hurry it on up. Sit down. Sit down, no, 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 that's mommy. <laughs> Not them trying to find it right now. Guys, while they try and find this, look at this lasagna. Look at that little corner. Don't you wish you could just take a spoon and scoop it out with the cheese and the meat? Mm. When this cooks together, oh, my, my. Oh, these are, my, my. Bit, these are the plain ones. Is that a little bit different, but the same thing? Yes. Those are the ones that I got yesterday. Sorry about that, guys. My bad. All right. So the one, the pack that I got, uh, slightly different. So the one that we were using before was ribbed. And this one is kind of more like a flat one. But it no matter, because it all tastes the same. All right, so this is what we call the top layer. Yes. Not true, Daddy. At the yeah. top, it's just soft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Lord of mercy. Hey, I don't know if them hear that in a while. <laughs> Look. Mm hmm. All right. Look at crevice. Look at crevice. You, you forget about, listen. Hmm. Mommy, I am fighting for your lasagna over here. Yeah, nice of course you are. Yeah, two pieces. Uncle two piece. <laughs> Bright. This guy is mean, man. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, people, he's just joking. Of course. Yes, no, he's a jokester. That's what he does. That's my son for you. <laughs> okay, now. The last thing. You lay it with your cheese. Get that top layer set up right. So, all this cheese gonna melt and come together, come nice and brown. Ooh. Make sure I have to, some cheese left for money. Yep, in the perfect world, you'd need more on top. No, not true. More cheese, yeah, that's good. You have lots of cheese. 
Well, you guys can do it to how you like it. When this this when this when melts, everything comes together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh no. It's, I know. I, I don't doubt at all, Betty. That this is going to be phenomenal. I'm just saying, like, if you are a cheesy kind of person, I know there's a lot of people cheesy. I feel like if I was doing it, I might add another layer of cheese on top. But, you know, can't be too craven. Okay, that's it, people. That's it. So, what do you do? Do you cover it? That's your lasagna. That is your lasagna. Yeah, you're going to put a piece of foil paper over it. Okay, even though we yeah. don't like foil. That is cool. Guys, what is the other option? If if you know of a better option to cover um, other than foil, put it down in the comments. Because You know what you can do? What? Put a piece of um, wax paper over it and then you foil. Interesting. Okay, cool. Great option. Well, let's get her in the oven. So and wax then, paper on first. Wax paper on first. Then your foil paper. Okay. So will the wax paper take up all the cheese that yeah, Not really. Okay. That's why they call it wax paper too. It's more, it's way more common on the foil. Paper on the foil, if we were to use the foil, right? Yeah. Okay, all okay, right, so. so. I'm gonna put two in, I'm gonna drop this down a little. Careful, Careful daddy. You want me to put it in for it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. This bad boy is gone in, you guys. So and this is gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. And so we wait. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna work on mommy. Oh, oh no. Okay. You don't have to see that. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back in 20 to 25 minutes. So basically, Danny, just so I'm sure. Yeah. Um. You don't have to like check on it or anything. Yes, you can check on it. How do you check on it though? Open the oven. And poke take it? Take it out. Take off the foil. Mm -hmm. And look at it. Okay. All right. All right. Start, see it start to bubble each side. Mm-hmm. It's, it's there. Okay. So you take a, if it, cheese is not brown enough mm -hmm. for you, take off the cover and let it cook. Okay. Get brown. Okay. And the way you want all right, so why don't we wait until you make that first check? All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Guess who is trying his hand? I don't know. I'm on nothing. Well, Just put see, that this is again. a little bit too long, so I'm just going to break it here. Okay, okay. my dad's going to break it. <laughs> no, I'm not breaking. I'm just showing you. Okay, so. Oh. Just a quick little pop off. Quick little pop off. Okay. Okay, Mark. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put some meat. I'm just following the steps. Daddy's kitchen in the flesh. <laughs> Hilarious. First of all, Mark does not cook, so I want you guys to realize that right now he's in the kitchen, showing off. I'm in the okay. kitchen going ham again. Again, this guy is never in the kitchen, okay? No. I can cook though. Don't He's a speak. professional nyam. Nyamer. Can eat food. But I'm not a nyam and left. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> What a dummy. But you guys see, Daddy is teaching Mark how to do this, but apparently he's already learned. Oh, I, well, I just learned right now. You're getting heavy with the meat. Yeah, it's for my mm -hmm. mom, you know? What about for the second, she needs a second uh, rope? Your, ba your base always has to be strong. Oh, okay. Base always has to be strong. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Okay. Sure. You hear that? Yeah, like one yeah. day in the kitchen. You just have a firm foundation. Exactly. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to put a little bit of spinach. You could put some more here. Uh -huh. yeah. In between there, right? Okay. Okay. So, lay a little cheese and then some spinach. Don't be too heavy on the cheese because she needs a top. She needs cheese on the top of hers. I know, I'm not trying to cheese her. 
Oh my god, I gotta go. Remember, yeah, what an idiot. Kind of cheese over there too, okay. okay, three sprinkles. But mommy's light on everything, you guys. So this is a gluten free one. Um, you know, she's not big on all the extras, the extra fatty things, so. The ones that don't matter. You know. Ugh. This is looking pretty good, Mark. I don't know. Look, you know, you it. know. Day one in the kitchen. Okay, okay that's good, right? Eh? A little ricotta? Spinach. Spinach? Okay. You, go, you can go heavy with the spinach, have you? Yeah. No, I don't want them that. They already know how this goes, but they will see the finishing product and we will give you all the credit, Mark. Great job. Mark's going to be in the kitchen a lot more often, guys, so get used to it. Kitchen going ham. All right. So, let's see the verdict. Let's be the judge. So this is our first time. So daddy, you decided not to really even check it because you'd be trusting it too much, huh? So we're gonna see. Guaguan. Guaguan. Can you guys smell it? Because I can. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh. Oh. So this was my see, this was my concern. Oh, but it doesn't really do what the oh you guys. Okay, all right. So more, more cheese. Me no, me tell you, me tell you say I need more cheese, but we had to split up the cheese. Yeah, so but that's what I was saying. I feel like you guys, up to you. You guys can add more if they want. No. Yes. Of course, because yes. we have cheese layered within there, so we're not going to be short of it. I don't think. No, but I love to see it. I don't want to see no meat on top, just cheese. So in the perfect world, in the perfect yeah. world, we would have had it covered completely in cheese. Um, and you guys can do that. Simpler. Yeah. This time we have a little diet lasagna. Yes. That's it. Yes. All right. Okay, so what so are we doing now? We're going to put it back in the oven for okay. about 10 minutes. Let it brown. Okay, all right. Cheese. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna put it into the oven just so it can brown on the top, you guys. It's getting closer and closer to being ready. This thing is heavy. I know. Lasagna always heavy. Back on it. And then we wait. Wait and wait and wait. All right, so we've taken out the lasagna. And it's been sitting for about how long? That's Wait, mommy's lasagna. 20 minutes. Way. That's the one that Mark made. Um, and it's what? It was sitting for about 20, 25 minutes, you'd yeah, say, Daddy? Yeah. Okay, so let's have an honest truth moment. You don't really like how the top of your lasagna no, turned out. Need but guys, the reason why I think it's important to mention this is because that is what that is what it's like in the kitchen sometimes. Sometimes it comes out the way that, you know, not 100% how you want it, but you know what you gotta do, right? My thing is, I know that once you cut into it, it's exactly how we want it. Yeah. Not true. Yeah, man. All right, so let's do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. Mark, you ready? Well, I'm ready. <laughs> My mouth is literally salivating. You guys don't know what lasagna is like in this house. You don't. You don't get it. <laughs> All of us see. Mm -hmm. Look at her. And that's the edge piece. I want one of those middle. I want to see what one of those middle pieces look like. Okay.
gorgeous. Wow. Gorgeous. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> we need another plate, Murph. Somebody come look at this. Somebody, listen, it's the flavor is inside for me, okay? You're gonna make him put it on that plate? Nah. <laughs> like, this guy pulled this plate. <laughs> Ton fool. And then, oh, what's wrong with this one? I can't, I can't, I can't. Something like that. Oh my gosh. Something, something I'm a little more presentable right. now. Thanks. All right. Let's mm -hmm. layer down. Yeah, that looks good. Yep. That's, mm -hmm. the That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. This the one. This is the one. All right. You guys ready for us to share your piece? I feel like I can hear you guys saying yes.